So we have to understand what it takes to be who we need to be for each other. And being found, we need to be found at the foot of the most high, seeking the most high. Go ahead, Al. But the thing was, even with that, I was thinking about some other stuff. I was thinking about lessons that I should have learned, that I'm still learning. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my um, our AP Mo, Moray Eugene Copeland Jr. Yeah. And his wife, Cheryl. I mean, Great I was man. telling their kids they were over here a couple of days ago, and I was like, yeah. I've never seen your parents argue. I ain't never said they ain't have a disagreement. But yeah, I'm talking right. about like an argument. Like me and my wife have had arguments, not yeah, sure. arguments. Yeah, sure. And I was sitting there, I was thinking about some of the moments that I wish I had this understanding that we're talking about coming into the marriage because you're right during that time that i was going through that that was that humbling process and what the most high was showing me in that process is i have to love him even more than i love the woman that he gave me wow. and, there's, and there's a time when you think that you can do be doing the right thing but be doing it all wrong for so long and i was doing it wrong for so long from a standpoint i still needed to prioritize him because he's the one that put it together and a lot of times what we try to do is we try to do a god thing without the father. It don't work like that. God. So what he did was he he took me through a serious humbling process to let me know I don't need you to take care of your family. I can do that on my own. But what I need you is to be the son that I need you to be. And then in being the son that I need you to be, you'll be a better husband, a better father, et cetera. Even when there's times when stuff kick up because yeah. he's showing me how to stay in character and stay in place it makes it it makes it better to get through even the tough moments that you have in your home because you understand that you have a place in him and you have yes. to do what he has to say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So he taught you how to deal with her emotions. Big time. Big time. He and he taught me he taught me how to stay focused. Yes, sir. Because the word I can't I can't go before the father and say the woman you gave me. Come on, we can't do that. <laughs> I can't blame him. No, no, no. He gave me an assignment. And it's crazy because you, you look at Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. He's, he showed me in that period, everything starts with me seeking him first. So if I want to improve my marriage, seek him. If I want to be a better father, seek him. If I, Whatever it is I desire, it starts with him. Yes. I've got to plug into the source. 